this virus continues to ravage the world, there are also questions about how this all started. Some say that it was a wet market inside Wuhan, that that may be to blame, and that these types of places pose a risk to us all. But is that true? The new coronavirus, maybe the first pandemic in recent memory to shut down the world. We are in a dire situation. Everyone is at their limit. Sweet. It's not drunk driving if your car's broke down. What's going on everyone? Mr. Phil Lam here. Welcome to 2021. We are about to go fishing in Tamales Bay right now. So first video, technically, of 2021 fishing season. We are out here at our one of our tackle shops that we go to. And yeah, hi, Megan. By the way, if you guys are in, ever in Petaluma, California, check this place out. It's a, uh, yeah, that, definitely. She said it, they got tackle shop right here in Petaluma, California. So make sure to come check them out. And they have a whole lot of stuff go see what my brother is uh is up to okay a bazooka bubble gum yeah <laughs> dude i haven't seen that in years dude let me, see, let me see this holy cow yes sir there you go, you got your 10 foot, you get 10 foot ugly stick, big wall. You know, I just realized whenever we go saltwater fishing, we tend to come here at this tackle shop right here, and I never actually got one of their merch. I think it's time to actually represent, right? Support your local. Part-time job. <laughs> wow. So we're done here. We're we're done there. We're done here. We're gonna go to Tamales Bay now. We got our stuff. So again, make sure you check this place out. Pretty awesome tackle shop. Petaluma, California, Bodega Tackle. Ladies and gentlemen, we just arrived here and it is highly windy. Hopefully this doesn't kill our audio. We're definitely gonna put on some jacket because yeah, that's not the business right now. So we're just getting all of our gear out now. Grab some of my stuff out here, a couple of my rods, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna need a free hand, so. cast this one out it is very windy guys so just letting you guys know so right now we're gonna get the uh, old faithful here my older rod I have a newer rod over there so we're gonna go and cast this one out first and 
Hopefully I don't slip. Let's do it. After we cast that out, we're going to back up a little bit. Well, we're probably gonna, just going to put it here. I have a bait runner on that one, so if this thing starts taking off, we're going to know about it. Go get the second one. Where's everybody? Oh, right, hold on. Where everybody at? I'm out there with this one, but not with this one. I'm trying to figure out where I'm gonna throw this one. So this is a newer one, and this is a ugly stick, big water. I literally just got this. I never owned a casking reel before or any casking product, but this is the Sharky 3 bait feeder. And I'm a bait feeder guy. I love, I call him bait runner, but man, this thing is just sleek. Hopefully it performs really well. Hopefully I catch something with this because I really want to know how this performs. Let's see how it casts out. All right, here we go. That should be good enough. All right, so that one's set. Hopefully I catch something with that one. I've already caught multiple fish with that one. So this one, I definitely want to catch something because it has the casking reel on it. All right, now we wait. Looks like we got about five poles in the water. So my brother got a double. I got a double. And then um, Megan got single rod. We got a comp chair. There is a lot of species of fish, literally, that you can catch here. So if you are a salt water guy and you live here in the Bay Area, you might want to check this place out. I mean, this place is huge. We definitely got to go to the other side also, literally, by the ocean ocean and uh fish that way hopefully we'll do that one of these days and uh yeah show you guys uh what that's about we gotta catch something all right hopefully we catch something I think we're on. Yeah, we're on. This guy's fighting too. Shark. The shark. Bring him this way. Here we go. Leopard. All right, I'm gonna put this thing down. Yeah, he's gonna get his cell tangled, bro. Hold on. Oh, there we go. Now All right. Work. Yeah. Hold him right here. Let me recuperate here real quick. Put this in my box pocket again. All right, let's go get our rod. Yeah, not gonna lie, that was pretty awesome. That was a good fight. That was the biggest leopard shark I've ever caught. That was my PB. Definitely a lot bigger than the ones I've caught in Tiburon. Definitely bigger than the ones I've caught. Pretty much our fishing hole that we go to in Sausalito. I like this place now. That was really cool. So we're gonna cover more towards southward and hopefully we got some more fish for you guys.
Time to eat some beef jerky. I completely threw this to the ground. I was actually eating a beef jerky earlier. And I'm like, nope, no longer need it. Megan is uh, cast out. My brother is uh, cast out right there. And um, I'm just gonna go and uh, enjoy some beef jerky real quick and then throw those bad boys out. So, all right, let's go and start casting out. We're gonna go and leave that one alone for now. This one needs to catch something. So we're gonna head to the other side. Hopefully my camera is doing a good job of actually blocking the wind, but it's super windy right now. We're gonna be casting into the wind. So I don't know exactly how well we're gonna do this. Right over here, all right. And then I think we'll place that. Holy, <laughs> yeah, that wind does not care whatsoever. Yeah, that should be fine. Turn on notification. Now we just got a cast on the other side of this. Let's get a squiddy diddy. I don't know what to name this one yet, but I normally name my rods. That one is Tac P. I don't know exactly what to name this one yet. Maybe I'll name that one J Tac. This one's Tac P. That one's J Tac. I don't know. Now we just got to find a place to uh, put her down. Let's see if we can place them here. Yeah. <laughs> it is cold. My hands are freezing. We're in Northern California. So, yeah, I need this to start running the other one already got something so i don't mind this one needs to start running though hopefully i catch something before the night is over however if we don't catch anything before the night is over well if this one don't catch anything before the night is over i think we'll be all right sun is slowly slowly going down and we haven't had a second bite yet yeah they need to catch some fish i would love them to catch some fish i'm gonna go check on my poles here all right let's go and double check on this pole here let's see where this one lies This one's gonna have to call it a day. Oh, yeah, don't do that with your rod. You know what? I think we're just gonna hang it up with this one too. Pretty much did its job today. Tamales Bay, definitely, I'll be back. Let's go and grab our gear right now, place it in the car, and then, yeah, we'll be a lot warmer in the vehicle. So, let's go. Fishing Tomales Bay was something very special because for the longest time I never knew that this place was right in my backyard. The place is beautiful and even though I don't fish saltwater very often, I know now that this place will be called home. I haven't fished in a long time so being able to feel those tight lines again knowing there's something tugging at the other end was indeed very fulfilling. Having good company to share those thrilling moments of reeling in a catch as well as sharing the positive vibes 
is definitely something I live for. 2020 was very rough for everyone in the world, but if we strive to look at the positive ends of every struggle, we can create amazing moments together for a better outcome. So cast those lures out, chase those personal bests, share the joy of fishing, and as always, never forget, keep them tight lines.